Michael Biden is pushing for assisted child care, but as Fox 24's Lauren Craycall explains, while this is a good thing for local parents, there's not quite enough child care services to meet the demand. On Wednesday, President Joe Biden proposed the American Families Plan, which would provide universal preschool to all three and four year olds, regardless of household income. It is going to be between $800 and $1,000 a month for part-time childcare for two kids. The help with the, with the cost of that is going to be a huge burden lifted from our family for sure. For Rogers, mother of three, Lori Lynn Tucker, it would help put her two youngest in childcare three days a week if she can find a place for them to go. We are not on any list right now. I've been calling to a few places. I am just trusting that they will be able to get in somewhere come August. An issue. Robin Slayton, owner of Fayetteville's Kitty Campus Child Care Center, says many child care providers are having trouble putting together a qualified staff. When it comes to child care, supply doesn't meet demand. Um, would you say that's a accurate statement? Yeah, it definitely is. And it is hindering. Like we get calls every day. We have a huge waiting list right now. But um, if I can't find the, the qualified staff to bring them on board, then I can't I can't care for the kids. Even though assisted child care is not guaranteed, Slayton says it's a step in the right direction. As much as I've hated the whole COVID thing, the flip side is they have learned that our industry is the industry that supports all the other industries. In Northwest Arkansas, Lauren Craycall, Fox 24 News. Thank you, Lauren. Well, last night, President Biden laid out his vision for the country, and Fox 24 takes you further into it now. Biden spoke for just over an hour in his address to a joint session of Congress last night. The president repeatedly used the word jobs as he framed his almost $6 trillion in proposed domestic programs as investments for decades of economic growth and strengthened families. Now, as Lauren mentioned, he introduced his American Families Plan as well. That's an almost $2 trillion program for universal preschool, tuition-free community college, child care support for lower-income families, and national paid family leave. In the speech, President Biden called for passing his infrastructure plan as well, also immigration and police uh, reform, and voting rights and gun safety. We have a real chance to root out systemic racism that plagues America and American lives in other ways. Now, the president did not win over Republicans like Representative Steve Womack of Arkansas. He responded to the president's first address to Congress, saying in part, in the last nearly 100 days, President Biden's calls for unity have stood in stark contrast with reality. He has ceded complete control to the far left, and they are mortgaging our children's future with the president. However, they did not win over, uh, and that was uh, Steve Womack uh, with that quote. 